Welcome to the Knox video training series. In this video, we'll show you how to set up Knox ePhoto 1 for the first time. Let's get started. Before you use Knox ePhoto 1, you'll first need to create a Samsung Knox account and apply for access to Knox ePhoto 1 by logging into the samsungnox.com dashboard and submitting your application. When you log into the Knox ePhoto 1 console, you'll be able to view the dashboard. The dashboard page provides a quick visual summary, letting you conveniently monitor the status of your enterprise devices. To get started with Knox ePhoto 1, you'll need to get a license, add a device, enroll your device, and install the client. Let's start by getting a license. In this example, we'll register for a 90-day trial license for up to 100 device seats. From the left navigation, click Licenses. Click Get a License, then click Generate Trial License. When you're done, you'll see a trial license appear on the Licenses page. Now that you have an active license, let's add a device. You can add a device through a Samsung approved reseller, a supported EMM, or a CSV file upload. In this example, we'll approve a device uploaded by a reseller. Note that when you approve an upload from a reseller, the reseller will automatically be added to your registered resellers list found on the resellers page. To view pending device uploads, from the left navigation, select Devices. In the Uploads tab, click View next to the upload you want to approve. Then select Approve All Devices. After the device uploads are approved, the devices will appear in the list under the All Devices tab. You're now ready to enroll a device. It's important to note that enrolling a device consumes one license seat. So in this example, one device enrollment will use one of the 100 seats available in the trial license. To enroll a device, from the left navigation, select Devices. In the All Devices tab, select the target device for enrollment. Click Actions, then Enroll Devices. Select a license for the device enrollment, then click Done. The device status will show enrollment pending until the enrollment process has completed. Next, let's install the client on a device. If a new device was added for you by a Samsung-approved reseller, the client gets automatically installed as soon as the device is powered on for the first time. Note that the device must be running Android P or later for automatic installation to work. For devices added through a CSV upload or EMM system, the client must be installed manually. To prepare an installation message, on the Devices page, select the All Devices tab, click the Get App Now button, then click Copy Message. Email this notification to device users so that they can download the client to their devices. Once a device user has installed and launched the Knox ePhoto 1 client, device enrollment is complete. Please note that once a device is enrolled in Knox ePhoto, the device will no longer receive consumer-targeted software updates. This concludes the demo of how to set up Knox ePhoto 1. For more information on Knox ePhoto 1, visit docs.samsungnox.com.